there are some crazy laws yeah. on the book um that you could like you go back a little while and like it's not just adultery or shit i think that like um wearing like you, like the police could arrest you in some places in america for not wearing enough gender appropriate clothing um, right or like women women would be locked up oh what was that story where the um that it was it was on it was on reddit it was like people were really mad about it because well they really do want to have this guy on like though. a woman lost uh stixie or like have a conversation with stixie um but as he is a thousand times my size probably not child, gonna happen and there was like a big public outcry and it was like the new york city police department really wanted to solve the case but they couldn't find the kid so they found another kid gave it to the mom uh to, to get like the headlines uh the mom was like wait this isn't my son and then the kid had her locked up in a mental institution uh for speaking out against them where she stayed for a long jesus time. christ yeah. jesus christ yeah i mean that's and and so it's like when i hear when i hear like any sort of like restrictions being imposed on womanhood for me it just kind of puts a sour taste in my mouth because i'm just like how far back are we gonna go you know what i mean before it's just like fascism you know what i mean no, don't no. get me wrong i'm super sexist uh, uh, i think a lot of this uh, is uh, 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 feminism uh, shit because this right. is like i don't know i mean like being real i honest to god think that a lot of these these, Here's like, the part especially that like the zoomers talk that are about like this, you know, on YouTube. you're on TikTok, I bet I get so you get a yeah. lot of that. I think a lot of them basically are just like stupid catty bitches, but they know enough feminist lingo that it's not they're they they do not want right. to call someone like a slut, you know. Like they're not mean girls. Right. Instead, they're appropriating the male gaze for self gratification to the detriment yeah. of feminism. Yeah, right. And you it's know. like and it's like, okay, but you 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 think that she's a dirty whore. Like just say say what you think right and same same with a lot of the turf shit right like a ton of the turf shit is just repurposed um like a second wave feminist uh, misandry because a lot of the theorists back then uh, thought that the um not all of them but a lot of them they thought that the uh, the fundamental problems between men and women were down to some kind of essentialist violent nature on the part of men a biological yeah and like i think a lot of uh second wave turf logic goes into like that same shit like a lot of pedophobia um, cause like, yeah, I, when I say second wave TERFs, I'm referring to TERFs who have, um, accepted trans people, but they need somewhere to like channel their, um, misogyny, misandry, whatever it is, the hating men. Um, so they end up channeling it towards like, uh, you know, like pedos, just like, uh, well, there is something inherent about men that makes them like harmful or uh, dangerous to women. Um, and they used to say, oh, that expresses itself through trans men, uh, through trans women. But now that they're uh, accepting trans uh, trans women, uh, these turfs are now starting to more focus on uh, they're post talking it over to pedos. It's just like, oh. No, I, I never actually had a problem with trans people. I had a problem with pedos, and I was just misinformed into thinking all trans people were pedos. So, like, that's that's kind of where we're at now with the left. Where, like, these, uh, the TERFs still have a pretty solid grip on things, and that's that's kind of an issue. Logical thing. So right. if you think it's down to biology, like, you know, you're probably not going to be as amicable to trans rights when they come around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, and that's it's not great. Yeah, and that's kind of critical of like that, like the minor feminist moment is just how much like I, there's just not enough people like regulating it. You know what I mean? And then it's like so we gotta have like some people like stepping up and saying like, hey guys, you know this is wrong because I it, I don't think there's enough. You know, I don't think there's enough when it's like so many people can sneak in their little like fashy viewpoints under the guise of feminism. Like that's. That's not yeah. good, you know? Well, I mean, people fucking love using um, social justice terminology as a way of, uh, of like, reiterating reactionary talking points, right? I mean, take a look at the Ukraine shit, right? It's not like, yeah. it's not like all the lefties who are defending Russia are going like, yes, blood and soil Russian Empire. They're going like, you know, we must defend, we, we, we must prevent American and NATO overreach from, you know, uh, right. you know, crushing Russian uh hegemonic identity or some whatever whatever bullshit they want to throw out that week you know just any time there's like 
the more woke sounding thing even racists do this like full out racist now like full yeah. on they don't they don't say like haha black people are worse you know they cry and they whine about how like white identity is being crushed by critical race theory or whatever and like oppressive right. social institutions or it's like everything now we can't escape it right have you have you been i don't know if you how much you go on TikTok. have you seen the uh drama between a couple creators uh chelsea and uh lance nah, the me. guy's named uh modern warrior yeah so this kid um you know he, he like he cheats on this girl right after she told him not to mm -hmm. uh he's like an indigenous creator right uh -huh. he's like an indigenous creator and he, he's like he's so i he's kind of a dick you know what i mean like you don't don't go cheat on your wives guys or your girlfriends or whatever. I'm not sure what they were, but don't go cheating. But it's like this girl straight up doxes the guy. Oh. After like um, you know, claiming that it was like assault when it like it wasn't. It was cheating, you know. And there was some other like uh, black creators who went to speak on it, and they had their uh, criminal records doxed online. You know what I mean? And it's Jesus like, Christ. <laughs> Leave it to white fucking leftists to pull out, like, the freaking racism card uh, whenever they don't like what a person of color is saying. No, I, yeah, the, the, wh okay, I know it's like an overplayed point, but white feminists, just broadly, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. There are so many white women that will, like, interpret any kind of personal harm done to them as a categorical offense to all womankind, which can be responded to with literally any behavior. That West Absolutely. Elm Caleb shit, for example, was insane. Like, literally, a bunch of these fucking, like, like mid-twenties white women, I don't know if they were all white, I should just say women, whatever. Let's just say well, New Yorkers, you know. Um, right. who, apparently to them, being ghosted is some kind of objective categorical harm that needs to be oh, repaid man. in blood and all these commenters like you see these tens of thousands of like in these responses on how like this is an affront to all women because this guy ghosted some chicks or whatever which like fuck you we live in america that's a god-given right okay right. if you don't like don't, it fuck off go live in commie is... russia okay mm -hmm. right i think i think ghosting is a healthy part of uh some like how do you know that like the women's not uh how do you know that like she wasn't like doing something that warnered like uh ghosting you yeah, know like, what i mean in his case he was being like a like a jerk or whatever but like broadly like if your category is we get to go over anyone we get to like go after anyone who ghosts like first of all you would never do that shit to a woman when women ghost men every excuse is played out like oh maybe she felt unsafe oh maybe she did well yeah maybe right. she did but like you only care about it when it's not yeah yeah anyway just and my it's... thing is is like does it even matter if like it's about unsafe it's like you shouldn't have I don't think they're going to say anything else that has to do with, uh, that, like, really goes over towards, uh, second wave turfs. But, like, yeah, you, you kind of see another thing that kind of leads to it that comes, like, stems out as an issue that comes from the fact that pedophobia is rooted in second wave turfs is, like, you know, a lot of people point out, like, oh, we have, uh, double standards for men and women when it comes to, um, child sexual abuse and like they'll point out um like oh well like f female teachers who uh sexually abuse like male minors and all that um they don't get punished or anything uh instead they'll get the the, the the kid just gets like a high five and all that even though that could be very harmful to the kid and like that stems from the fact that it's uh like pedophobia is born from like um, uh these the second wave turfs like hatred for men not any actual concern for the harm uh that's cause because like even with uh you can see it especially with uh like because like a woman wouldn't have the same inherent harm or harm or danger that uh a man would have and like you can see it with uh trans people as well like a trans man isn't actually going to get treated as negatively as, uh, um, like, uh, you know, other men. Because it's just like, oh, well, he's not a real man. Like, yeah, he is. You're just trying to, like, essentialize, like, the, um, XX chromosomes as, like, making people more sexually dangerous. Like, uh, it's just, 
really sad to like see how it, it is all just like men hate. Yeah. And it's like trans women are viewed as dangerous when it comes to pedophilia. And cis women are viewed as dangerous. I mean, uh, uh, trans women and cis men are viewed as dangerous, whereas trans men and cis women aren't. And it's, it's just kind of sad that like it's not n as noticeable. People don't acknowledge it as much or at all a lot of the time. 